Now, if you guys didn't see the lesson about JavaScript functions, I suggest you to go and see the first video in this list. Now, let's do some practice. First, I'm going to go and create a new folder, JS function. And then inside my folder, I will create a new text document, calling it index.html. Now I'm going to open my folder here as a project using brackets. Now inside the HTML file, I will create the very HTML basic file, giving its title, hidden, of what we're going to see. I'm going to add a comment saying that my files or my script tag will be right here. So inside the script, I will add alert test to see if that works. And yes, I will go and open the developer tool and the console. To print something in the console, you say console.log, then test. Now everything is working, so let's go and create our first function using the function declaration way. So we type in our the function keyword, then our function name will start with a uh, dollar underscore a letter, but it can't start with a number. We could say f2, this can be possible. So we'll give our function a name thank and then we open the parentheses and the color brackets and say alert hello now when i go to my browser and hit refresh nothing's happened because i have first to call my function or invoke it so to invoke a function we say the function named in the parentheses and then the semicolon now if i refresh i get hey now let's see the other method the function expression. For the function expression, we see function, then the parentheses, and then our code, alert hey. We call this an anonymous function because this function has no name. Now, to invoke the function, we have to set this anonymous function to a variable. So I'm saying var function equals the anonymous function. Now to invoke the function, we type in the variable name, fang, then the parentheses. If I refresh, then I will get hey. Now let's create a function that adds two numbers. So we say function keyword, then add the name of our function. Inside the parentheses, I will say a and b. a and b are parameters. Then this function will return a plus b. Now the a and b are names. And we call them parameters. When I call the function, I will say add. Then inside the parentheses, I will give it 5 and 10. 5 and 10 here are called arguments. The parameters here are names. And the arguments here are real values. Now, as you can see here in my console, in my web browser, when I call the function add, it says 15. Now let's say return a and then we say variable c equals a plus b and then we return c. Now when I call the function add and give it two arguments 5 and 10 and I refresh I will get 5. Why? Because when 
this line executed it returns the value of a which is 5 and then it stops the execution of the function so the second line and the third will not get executed Now let's talk about function scope. Let's create a variable x equals 12. This is a global variable because it's defined outside the function. Now I'm going to create a function called add and then I will create another variable I will define a variable y equals to 5 then this function will return x plus y and so this is a local variable so y is a local variable because it is created within the function add or inside the function add now if I call the function add and I refresh I will get 17 which means that add function has access to the global variable x and the local variable y let's create another function called sum and then this function will return x plus y so if I call the function sum it has to return the x that has a value 12 and y a local variable and its value is 5 now I'm gonna try to run or to call my function sum when I get refresh I will get an error y is not defined because y it's defined inside the add it's a local variable so for the function sum has no access to the local variable of the function add that's why uh, y it is not defined but but still it has access to the x variable because it's a global variable so in general functions has access to the global variables and local variables but the local variables are not accessed by any script or any function in our code and still the global variable is accessed by every function and any script in our code so thank you guys for watching and see you in another video